You are taking a live look at the Bonnie Carey Spillway. Eight of the spillway's 350 bays are now open. The Army Corps of Engineers will be watching the river conditions over the coming days and will likely open more of the bays. What they open today is just a small fraction of the spillway. It's a massive place. Good afternoon, I'm Eric Paulson. Thank you for joining us today. This is the 12th time in the spillway's history that it's been open since it was completed in 1931. The Corps started pulling out the pins, which are those wooden planks that hold back the water around 10 o'clock this morning. Our Danny Monteverdi is live at the Bonnie Carey Spillway with more on the opening. And normally a lot of folks show up for uh, an event like this. Yeah, that's right, Eric. And today they were out here in full force. There were easily hundreds of people, uh, both spectators, onlookers, Army Corps officials, parish officials out here looking to see this spillway open. We'll take a look at behind me right now. You can see the water is just beginning to pour into the spillway right now. As you said, just a short time ago, they began about 10 o'clock this morning. As of now, there are five of the bays open and they'll be opening eight bays today. Now, meanwhile, again, we said there were hundreds of people out here looking to see this spillway open. The river, it, it rose very fast this year and uh, very high, quicker than that they, what they were expecting. And so the Corps decided to open the spillway a little earlier than usual. Now, what triggers this is when the river begins to flow at 1.25 million cubic feet a second. Now, to help you visualize that, that would fill up the Superdome in one second. Imagine that, enough water flowing to fill up the Superdome from bottom to top in one second. But again, we had hundreds of people out here today to see what's sort of a rare event, and we talked to them about why they do this and why they're out here. Three things that you look at. One of them is to reduce the, the level of water, which reduces the pressure on the levees downriver. So as water builds, you get an excessive amount of pressure, and you'll have water that tries to find its way under the levees. So by reducing the level of water, we reduce the pressure. By reducing the velocity, we reduce the scour and the damage done to the levees, and we also make it safer for navigation because we reduce the height, and then vessels can come through without creating uh, large wakes and uh, causing damage. It's pretty impressive because, uh, you know, like I said, I had never seen anything like this before. So probably a lot of people over here haven't seen it either, you know? Yeah. And so again, there you... And so again, there you hear the reasons why the uh, Army Corps is opening the spillway today. Again, right now, they've got about five of these bays open. By the end of the day, they will have eight open. Now, there are 350 bays all along the spillway here. Uh, that's a total of 7,000 of these wooden pins that they would have to pull up if they were going to open all of them. They won't do that in this case. They're going to open, they think, probably about half of those bays. And they'll be open, they think, for about two to three weeks. Now, the officials with the Corps did say that when you're driving, driving on I-10, you're, of course, missing water rushing underneath the interstate. They urge you to not stop and look at it, just keep driving. That's a safety issue, of course. Uh, but throughout the day, they'll keep working, and we'll be here. We'll have uh, my colleague Paul Murphy and I will have some updates on Facebook Live and our digital platforms throughout the day, and, of course, on later editions of Eyewitness News. But for now, reporting live at the Spillway in Norco, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Eric? And, Danny, this is a fairly slow process when they do this because they're pulling those out one at a time with those big cranes. You're right. If they if they needed to take out all 7,000 of those pins, it would take 36 hours. Now, in an emergency, if they needed to, they can group basically, I think, about 20 together at one time and reduce it from 36 hours to three hours. But you're right. To do this, it is sort of a long, drawn-out process. But again, if they need to, they can reduce it greatly. All right, Danny, thank you very much.